Dodson. 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 We've got Dodson over here. Ah, Dodson. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. No glitch for. All right. So, the whole reason we absolutely had to do this is because if you're a fan of Jurassic Park, then you know exactly what scene this is in my very low budget way of doing it with my dog. And this little sucker. Yep. We have ourselves a can of Barbasol built in with the secret compartment for our dino DNA. Cool, right? Very neat, very easy, very cost effective. And who doesn't want one of these suckers? So there you have it. Thanks, Dodson. Thank you. Look at all that foam. That's a lot of foam. Why does it have that much foam in it? I do not understand. That's science, man. Nature, it'll always find a way. When you're cutting this bad boy open, be careful not to cut yourself because it is sharp. It was very sharp and it was dangerous and I thought it was going to explode, so be careful. This is a cinnamon spice jar that I had. I'm going to cut it right in half, take the stickers off, and I'm going to be using the lid portion and the screw half of the other portion. I'm cutting out a circle bit that's going to go into that. That's what the vials are going to sit into. I'm just using a hole punch to get those circles a little bit more round, make some space for it. For the vials themselves, I took a glue stick, cut it about two inches, and then melted the end to make a pointy bit. So you can see that's the piece of paper that I did with the vial holder, and I put a dowel on the other end. So you're going to glue that dowel into a smaller spice jar. So I had two spice jars. One was the main one that the compartment was going to go into the... Um, Barbasol can and the other one is a smaller spice jar that can fit into the one that's going into the Barbasol can um, just so then you have the two pieces so I'm gluing um, the dowel into the lid of the smaller jar ignore that piece to the left I did an extra step that you do not have to do and I mean if you wanted to make a lid you can make a lid with this you can I didn't really show it so just ignore that silver circle bit I sprayed everything with a silver spray paint, let it dry overnight, and then I was ready to assemble, assemble, put it together. You see that lid bit that I'm fiddling with there? That's the, pit, the bit that I scrapped because I figured I didn't really need it. Take your Barbasol end and you're going to glue your big spice jar to your Barbasol end with some hot glue. And then you're going to glue your secondary spice jar with the dowel and the little circle thing in onto that one. So you have one spice jar, another spice jar on the inside. Spice jar section. This is the other end of the large spice jar that I'm putting into the Barbasol can with some foam. I did not glue this in place, but the foam kind of kept it snug enough that I could push it up and down. Um, it worked out really nicely. This is just me screwing it on and I'll show you how it all looks together in the end. Oh, and the vials. I had this, um, what's it called? A bedazzler that I found at a thrift shop that had these silver end bits that fit perfectly on these vials. So that's what I'm using there just to jazz them up a bit. Cut out my Dano DNA names and then I just glued them on, let them dry and was ready to stick them in the tube, I guess. So here's the overall of what it looked like in the end. I thought it turned out pretty cool. I mean... For what it is, it cost me $2 for the Barbasol can, so that's a pretty cheap craft. Um, you can see there kind of the mechanics of it all getting put together. Barbasol can, big spice jar, small spice jar, and my little vial and sticks with my vials in it. So enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like this video, and please subscribe if you do like it. Also, thank you to Crux for putting up with me and making you do these hideous tasks over and over again. She was a good sport, so... The poor girl. She had fun. She got lots of treats. So anyway, thanks again. Bye-bye.